Today's Gospel, Thursday, March 17, is from St. Luke chapter 16, verse 19 to 31. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried, and from the netherworlds where he was tormented, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours, or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Brother Mondio Campo of the Triala Prayer Community. Don't miss the fourth. In the Holy Mass's penitential act, I confess to Almighty God, that is this fourth great sin that was pointed out, which I believe we all have ignored. The prayer goes that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done. And the fourth great sin, which we all miss, say, and in what I have failed to do. The Gospel today resonates the question that God will ask us on Judgment Day. What did we not do? The parable is also a solemn warning to us that we have an obligation to help the needy. Luke makes clear that the ministry of Jesus is focused on the poor. Jesus also made this clear in his public Gospels. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. He even challenged us to love our enemies. Jesus tells us that the life of a Christian in this world only becomes truly fully lived when that life is lived for others. Today may be a good day to ask ourselves, what are we sowing in our daily lives? Is it love, care, concern, peace, joy and generosity or is it negativity self-centeredness greed and criticism we will reap what we sow which seeds will we choose to sow in our lives today and tomorrow let us be mindful of our choices let us pray let me see you in the faces of the poor in jesus name i pray amen in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.